Hindustan Aeronautics has delivered the first of the 240 AL-31 FP engine of Su-30 aircraft to the Indian Air Force, under a new contract that was signed last month. Idea Forge is developing a 500 kg class drone, capable of carrying payloads over 100 kg for both civilian and military applications. LNT has awarded a contract to the Indo-Israeli joint venture Contrap Paris Technologies for the supply of 244 Site 25 HD gyro stabilized targeting sites worth 293 crore rupees. The CEOs of Dynamatic Technologies and Dassault Aviation celebrated the successful completion of industrialization for a large number of parts and tools to manufacture and assemble aero structures for the Falcon 6X. The CEO of Polish defense company WB Group has announced that the company has proposed its Fly I Mini unmanned aerial system to the Indian Army. MKU Limited has announced plans to establish new manufacturing units in Saudi Arabia and Brazil. Zen Technologies has signed an annual maintenance contract worth 46 crore rupees for simulators with the Ministry of Defense effective for a period of five years. The armies of India and Kazakhstan have started the 8th edition of CAS in 2024 joint military exercise at the Surya Foreign Training Node. Indian Navy's INS Talwar Frigate conducted a maritime partnership exercise with Kenya's KNS Shuja off the Kenyan coast. The newly appointed Indian Air Force Chief Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh has expressed his intent to prioritize the indigenous fighter programs, and he also emphasized the importance of advancing the Tejas Mark 1A Tejas Mark 2 and AMCA programs to strengthen India's defense capabilities. The Air Chief's commitment to indigenous programs was further demonstrated during Exercise Tarang Shakti, during which the Air Chief Marshal made history by intercepting the German Air Force Chief Surafighter Typhoon while flying the Tejas aircraft. The Indian Army has started discussions with the DRDO to develop a new UAV launched precision guided missile version 3 that will be mounted on light motor vehicles, that promises to provide infantry units with a potent weapon system for targeting enemy positions. It will be equipped with a variety of warheads, including a roof buster warhead, anti-tank warhead with kinetic capability, and an infrared seeker for accurate target acquisition. The ULPGM V3 will have a significantly increased range of 12 km, and will feature cold launch capability, thus reducing the risk of damage to the vehicle and its crew. Tata Motors has unveiled a new variant of its WAP, which is set to be delivered to the Moroccan Armed Forces under a contract for 150 units. Apart from the left-hand drive configuration, the variant includes the integration of a 360-degree situational awareness radar for counter-unmanned aircraft systems. There are reports that Morocco is also considering to procure a 105mm cannon variant of the WAP platform, further solidifying its commitment to the vehicle. The Director General of Artillery has said, that the Indian private sector is expected to produce over 3,155mm shells annually by the financial year 2027, however, this output falls short of the army's requirements in the event of a full-scale conflict, as the army would need approximately 1.5 lakh shells per month. If the conflict were to extend for a year or more, the demand would surge to over 15 lakh shells per year, which is four times the current annual production capacity. The Indian Army is actively exploring ways to further enhance domestic production capabilities and secure additional supplies from international sources. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.